It's a big day at Lalan today. It's clearing day. Now, I never thought I would say it when I first bought 16 years ago, but this 40 room chateau has got too much stuff in it and it doesn't all fit and we need to do a major clear out. But luckily I won't be dealing with this problem alone. I bought Lalande with my two best friends and one of them is here and half the stuff that we need to clear out must be his. So, I've turned the tables. It's usually him who brings me cups of tea in the morning, but I need to get him up. He's staying in Nick and Marie's little cottage at the moment because his apartment's being let out. Michael Potts! Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got tea to lure you to help me. Is that bribery? Basically, mum is coming back in a month. And if that floor's not tidy, I'm close. That always tidy. <laughs> Do we have pastry? Michael Potts says he needs a pastry to start. Pastry for me? Yes. The tea is going to the kitchen where the cake is. Oh, oh. Bye. Bye. Hello, Bye. Hello, 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 the good news is, Michael, that if the croissant wasn't enough, and it seems to have not have been enough to wake you up, mm. behind you, the great Natalia Olivetta is making pancakes. Oh, what? <laughs> well, it's super sexy today in the kitchen, I know, well. <laughs> you look ready for clearing action. Like my cook? Well, yeah, well, well he, he's sort of getting there. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Natty, <laughs> this is a perfect start. Thank you. We need this strength, don't we? We do. There's a lot ahead of us. An awful lot, isn't it, Michael? Mm -hmm. just, a, a, just a little bit of tidying up. It's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine with Michael. Always, always absolutely with. fine. Slowly, no. surely, yeah. we get there. Michael's been very helpful. He's found Selmar's Sinterklaas stuff. I've lost my sheep. Michael is the light relief and I am dealing with the books. Do you think we've got too many books? I think our Billy bookcases are, are suffering. The way. Billy bookcase can't, can't cope with it anymore. The books go all the way along and they continue behind the mattresses all the way along the attic. And my job is to clear the books. We're going to build a library. It's not going to be just yet. I love the way you're laughing, Tonton Stephen. The British language. There are more <laughs> yeah. books here than in the British language. Yeah, we are actually going to have to make underground vaults to hold them all. We have one copy of every book ever published. <laughs> we have some friends to help us. Oh, wow. They don't look like readers to me. <laughs> no. What we need is people clearing who are not readers, because the problem is every That's time really we pick up a book, we're like, uh, well, this looks really interesting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you say that, but I do have a burning book no. pile. So the reason I'm getting rid of of the electrical installation books is that I suspect that they're about 20 years out of date of regs. Yes. So they, they have to go. Everything else will go to the charity shop. Patty, Nett and Stephen have taken over the, well, it, it's an office area it turns out. It was just all curtains, but we've put all of the curtains waiting for various parts of the shutter over here. Michael has been quietly sorting over here. What, what have you found? Stephanie, look, you and your cousin, Johnny. Oh, our grandmother's 80th birthday. Yeah, that's Amory's brother, Jonathan, and me with very strange hairstyle. <laughs> and you <laughs> with the two of them, Amory and Johnny. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm finding this so hard. I mean, I have my parents' old antiques yearbooks, 1961 to 1962. That's actually quite fascinating. I've been looking at them and they've got beautiful pictures in. I find it very hard to get rid of things like this. And I suspect that Philip might like them, but I don't think I need them. I've got to learn to let go. Could you come and explain something going on over here, please? Sure. This is the box that you've been busy no, 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 clearing. No, I haven't touched that box. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's, that's. Oh, my goodness. I thought that you'd been no. putting cards randomly into a box to no, keep. No, this is, um, this is, I just, this is just a, an, an, an sorted box. Okay, uh, brilliant. Looks like I, you're going to be counting I cards. Count the cards. For the foreseeable future. It's an easy chocolate. What have you found? something to hold my fringe because it's falling in my eye constantly you really so, are mummy's sister thought, aren't you yeah perfect and you've just <laughs> cheered up all of the proceedings <laughs> So I'm 
another computer? Yep. And there's a pay. We have an air. How many? And a spare. Okay, you know, that is not on me. I may be responsible for the curtains, but I am not responsible for the amount of computers in this house. Got a full deck of cards. <laughs> So I throw away the ones with the decks that are the half arsed decks. Is that a serious question, Michael? Are you asking me if we want to keep half decks of cards? Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like you're not doing well on your own here today. Why are you putting them back into that box? Because I don't know You put them in the card table. Where is the card table? Oh, down there. Yeah. In the actual card table, in the drawer of the card yeah. table. Somewhere we put a Scrabble set missing an H. <laughs> Bin. <laughs> well, there's no point binning this without binning the rest of the Scrabble set. As soon as we unearth the Scrabble set, it will also be binned. <laughs> Look, I found you, me and Tonton Jean-Christophe at my christening. Who's your mother in the background? Oh yeah, there's mummy. There's <laughs> mummy, my uncle Jean-Christophe. Tatinette, <laughs> and you? Look how beautiful you are. I just wanted to grow up to be you. Oh. <laughs> the table for your christening. Goodness. Two pièces monte. But I don't think we've topped that since. I feel wrong that the best cake I ever had in my life was for my christening and I couldn't eat it. <laughs> There's mummy in Madagascar. Yes, is that with Tonton Bruno? <laughs> Looks as though daddy loved pigeons as much as I do. <laughs> I absolutely love pigeons. That was two euros at the Brookhans. Two euros at the Brookhans. That's so good. I've got more stuff. You've got more stuff. I know, but I'm, I know, we're clearing and you've just come back from the Brookhans. I've got very useful things. Very Both useful. Racks being put no, up. the coat rack's brilliant. Well like, Brilliant. So I also bought this. The leather is in nice condition. Yeah, the, the top is, is good. Yeah, that's what I think. It's pretty good. Awesome. And I bought a tablecloth, which is rather large. Pink is good. That's what I thought. Everyone's a critic. So how much? How much was that? I can't remember. I think like four euros. And how much was the table? One euro. And the coat rack was two euros. If you were had. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got I, got these. <laughs> I bought these for eight. Wow, they're um nice condition. I know. I checked. Well, they're very nice condition. It's unusual to find them like that. For eight euros? Eight euros for the four. See, that's amazing. That's a she was... That's amazing! Everything is amazing. <laughs> a table for Ta you. The table's <laughs> rules. You know. Thank you. And, and you always need a little table you next to a sofa to put your drinks. Sporting. Yes. Uh, or put in a corridor. No, 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 I just think I'm not in the frame of mind to see more arriving as I'm no, 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 but clear. I must say, this is good. Yes, you're right. Welcome. Yeah, no, all right. That is good, actually. This one you already had, but I couldn't get that off yet. Yes. I clean the rest. Things are definitely getting better. We can see the books now, so that's impressive. And Michael is finally clearing the menswear section. Finally. Black tie. Great. Is that yours? Yes. What a night. Maria has made these rolls. Wow. This is that with garlic? Yeah. Oh, great. And here, Pavlina has made borscht. Looks so good, Pavlina. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best looking garlic bread I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, Michael, I haven't seen you in that shirt for ages. You can tell we've been clearing the attic. Have you been unearthing loads of your things? <laughs> just got up I came through to my dressing room to put my dress on for today to get started back in the attic super early in the morning and this is what I've seen yep it's a catastrophe 16 years that hangers held and okay admittedly it did have a lot of dresses on it but still 16 years I can't I just I haven't got the strength to deal with this right now otherwise I know I'll spend the morning dealing with this and not do anything in the attic. I'm just going to put yesterday's dress on. I've got to stick to books. If I start doing clothes, then all is lost. Why is it that just when I feel I'm making progress in one area, the wheels come off in another? Your clothes rail didn't collapse today, did it? No, you had all the choice in the world. <laughs> right, come on, back to the books. Billy, don't be a hero. 
Don't be a fool. No, hang on. We want Billy to be a hero. Billy was being... Well, the whole Billy bookcase from Ikea has effectively collapsed and we've worked out that... Keep your Billy book down. <laughs> Plantagenet Encyclopedia and the Brett Book of the Royal Wedding are holding up everything oh. in this bookshelf. And they're definitely supporting Catherine de Medici. Yes, and Henry VIII. <laughs> I'm not sure the Plantagenets would want to be supporting the Tudors. <laughs> it's probably the dust that's actually holding them up more than anything else. <laughs> Did no one tell us? I think it's lost in translation. <laughs> Gotta find a place for this. Definite control starting over here. All right, I've got to walk away now. I've, I've slightly got into an obsessive phase, but I have to walk away. Time for lunch because it's Grant's last lunch. Oh, what have you made? I was going to say, we always have delicious salads when you're here, Tatinet. Look at that tuna and olive salad. It's a three cheese salad. Oh, that looks good. I'm not, I'm not even keen on beetroot, but I'm definitely having some of that. Mmm. This is delicious. Can we do anything to persuade you to stay, stay? Uh -huh. It's, you know, it's snowing in Australia. It's yeah, I know, it's snowing back home. Get a uh, supersonic plane, like maybe a four hour journey and I'll stay. <laughs> Could we maybe club together to get that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sort of pot. Uh, no, no. I'm, you take care. I'm great, you know. I will see you in a few months now. Thanks, mate. Thank you. It's good to meet you and you. Likewise. Salut, Australia. You're going to come to Australia? No, Corsica. <laughs> yeah, you're off to Australia and Cyril is off to Corsica. It's all happening. <laughs> Thanks for making it into the again. I'll stay in touch. Oh. Feels weird seeing you in there without a it's... chicken coop. Yes, true. Hopefully you can come down under. Seriously, really, really Shadow hope Diaries to. Diaries down under. <laughs> Bye, Grant. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> making good progress with the whole cookery section behind me but I really do have to ask a couple of questions of my darling mother. What were you thinking? So many microwave cookery books. This one just a vegetarian microwave cookery book and this a very thick one. With, how can there be that many microwave recipes? Oh dear mummy. Right, well, I'm sorry, but this one's going. I think we'll use the oven. All the microwave cookery books are going. I was tempted to throw away offal, and it was only after I put it aside to take it to Imaus that I realised it was part of a series. So offal is staying. I've now moved all of the recipe books out from the other bookshelves. They're here, ready to go into these bookshelves. And I've been joined, it's getting more and more fun up here. Philip and Tatinette are sorting through tablecloths, working out what is going to be sent to the laundrette and going to charity. Oh, by the way, very, very good news. We do have a second offal book. So that is lucky. I mean, it's in the name, isn't it? <laughs> awful, awful, awful. And for those of you worrying that we didn't have enough microwave cookery books, I think this has brought our total up to five. Plus, of course, the pamphlet, Microwave Mushrooms. Why did I never think of microwaving my mushrooms? Tempting though, microwave nut crunch and mushroom cream is. I think I'm going to let this pamphlet go to charity. Someone else can enjoy that. For parents who didn't really like cooking that much, though my father loved baking, they bought a lot of cookery books. So tonight is Michael Potts in the kitchen, yes. not only clearing out the attic, and this is chicken tikka masala. This is the marinade for it. Why oh, did you get the champagne? Haha, I have a champagne delivery man. Right. What? What? From the terrace? Yeah, from the terrace, you might be pleasantly... So that's the place to be. Mm. Toodles. Toodles. Suddenly the terrace seems tremendously inviting. 
this is the place to be. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Cheers. Day three and we're back up in the attic and it possibly looks worse than it did when we started. I can't tell anymore. Oh, we have a butterfly. We must like the butterfly out. Can you reach that window? Uh, I think so. And we're filling a van. We've hired a van to fill it up to take to the local charity shop. The men are going to be ferrying a lot of things downstairs. I've been through clearing most of the books. I still have this section to sort through to send things to charity. And then I can really properly get everything back in here. got rid of the cot and here are the first two bags of books going in we guinness world records 2003 is going there's going to be a lot more books where they come from i mean it, it's it's great that they're getting a second home yeah but i hope somebody finds them interesting well, don't worry i'm still keeping a few thousand Are you okay on that side, Philip? So. Okay, I'll take half of this one with you and then we carry on. Well, why don't you and I do this end and then flip us this side? Because that's the video. Okay. And there'll be two of us doing it. All right, All right. let's do that. Is she okay? Yes. Okay. All over. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you holding either sides? Yeah, I am. Can you walk any higher? The right is getting to Betsy. Success! My parents' old TV cabinet. These are all the old clothes. Uh, some of all of the old clothes. Oh, a tiny fraction of all of the old clothes. Half, maybe? This is it, that's the last box of books. Let's get it into the van and see how it's looking. This is fantastic. Here we are. I can't believe how much there is. All of that was just in that corridor. I know. Other than the pink cabinet, yeah. everything else was in that corridor. Oh my goodness, I'm shocked. <laughs> and honestly, when, when faced with the extent of, I'm gonna blame it on my parents, the yes. hoarding. Okay, no, it's all three of us. <laughs> It's a, it's a family thing, but no well, more. A lot of this is books, which we've just been keeping because we naturally well, keep all books. the fiction that I've read, other than my favourite ones, I figured could go. Yeah. The other big pile of things is clothes that we've grown out of. You grew out of them? Yeah. I mean, they, they were for much smaller children. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really, really happy. Spud's happy. I can hear him in the background celebrating. Oh, he's been going all day. I think the reason that I kept so much in the first few years here is I was always worried that we would need something, that if we suddenly realised in future that we needed it, we wouldn't have the money to replace it. But now that things are going much better at the Chateau, I feel able to clear and to make space to be able to breathe. Just space to be able to look at the books that we've got and enjoy them and pick them out easily without having piles and piles and piles that you can't look through. Okay, here we go. This is a big task ahead of you. Mm. Oh, the sunglasses are on. You're ready for action. It's so hot. <laughs> Why don't you quickly get changed before you go? It's echoing the van. All right, okay. The van is huge. Bye. <laughs> this feels so good, seeing the place get cleared. But my work is nowhere near done. Back up to the attic, Cinders. levels are quite low now in the attic. Yep, we're all totally losing the plot. <laughs> this is quite a different place to what it was a few hours ago. Like an, it's not just that I can breathe, it's that I can think. It's as though it sort of opens up the possibility of creativity. We have to do a lot of work up here 
generally to get the floors all the same colour. The reason that we have these things on the floor that are different colours is that when we bought, these were actually rooms. There were 11 children in the family and so many grandchildren that they needed every space they could get. So even though they were little rooms with no windows, no natural light, there was just a little single bed in each one and the children slept in here as well as all of the other rooms, of course. And that's why the floors are two different colours, which we will sort out. But the most important thing, sort of finally, it's tidy. I am feeling really good, but I can't, I actually can't carry on uh, mopping the floor now because we have got dinner with the guests. So yes. I can stop this for a moment and go and be glamorous for a while, which I'm really looking forward to. What time is it? How long uh, have I got? You've got literally five minutes. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, okay, okay. Mop, mopping down, down mop. Let's go. go, go, go. They look amazing. I, I can't tell you how Thank exhausted you. I am from the attic and there is nothing I want more in my life than to get dressed up and sit and have a glass of wine and your delicious food. So thank you. <laughs> no worries, yeah. I'm pretty happy with these wow. zucchini rose tops with the um, peas and then I've got a tomato and basil sauce to go around it. Like a Incredible, thank you. Thank you. And Philip's back, isn't he? Yes, that's right, right. he's doing the table. How did it go in my use? Good. Thank you so much for doing that. closing time. But they were very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you got back in time to do the table. Yes. And you won't believe it, but the corridor is clear. The attic corridor is completely, but completely so it's clear. It's more than walkable. I think you could do a little bit of, a little bit of ballroom dancing is fine right. up there now. I'd like to see that. <laughs> you use the peacock plates. Yes. That's so pretty. Yeah, they sent us a gift. Yeah, I love them. Oh, this looks so good. I thought it looked really good with the, the tablecloth. It's lovely and it's such a beautiful day and it looks nice with your glasses as well. Right, I'm going to wear something pretty. Oh, for goodness sake, I'd forgotten about the rail. But I definitely cannot carry on wearing this dress any longer. Aha! I received this dress as a gift in Caddo at the Chateau. And it is epic. And it is out and not on the rail, so easy to get to. I think I'm going to wear it for dinner. I'm in the cat dress wearing my grandmother's sunglasses with a gin and tonic. And I'm telling myself I am a hoarder no more. Things are starting to look up. I love it with the orchids. This looks really, really pretty. This is a courgette rose oh. in a tart surrounded by peas and a tomato coolie. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. <laughs> but enjoy, Thank everyone. You. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Two types of green mushrooms and wheat. And I'm bringing the sauce in a second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Blueberry and Madeira sauce. I, don't, I haven't seen the finished on television. Tiramisu. Oh, what? No? Are these the yeah, cherries so. de Monsieur Bernard. <laughs> the alcoholic cherries of Bernard. Oh, Love yeah. them. <laughs> it's wonderful. The evening viewing of the vase. <laughs> wow. Part of the once. Philip it's tour. Too, it's too precarious. It is once. I'm so sorry. If you're coming to the chateau, you will not be seeing the vase that the council has done. <laughs> you get so scared every time you go up and down the stairs. I know. It's this says is Vars well. wow. Green Weekend one and only. <laughs> Is, um, I just realised this is matte down here. Yeah, yeah some of well, yeah. yeah. the yeah. touch of base. It's nice, isn't it? The difference oh. between the matte and the glass. And now, yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> One time only. <laughs> this didn't happen. <laughs> thank you all for joining us for our epic attic clear out. And once again, I'd love to thank all of my patrons and take a moment to thank the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande, Suzette Robage, Victoria. Jessica Walker, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, April Westerveld, and Linda Beast. Thank you so much for your support, and see you all on Thursday.